welcome back to a new video. So I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be trying the, the new suede matte lipsticks by NYX. They sent me their whole colour range so I'm going to be doing a full lip swatch video. I did ask you guys on Instagram and a lot of you voted for a full um, lip swatch video. And I think you guys seem to like that because you can actually see how it looks on my skin tone. Before I jump onto the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Pia Gabriella. So thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press that bell button and then let me know when you've done so in the comments below and also sometimes I may forget to do it in some videos I try to remember every single time if I do forget please forgive me I don't mean it <laughs> the massive box here oh my god guys there's so many colors i mean nyx is always there to spoil me i swear down all right so they it says that there's 24 new smooth matte full color shades perfectly pa paired with their liners i might at the end try some like combinations like a lipstick and a different lip liner to see how it looks there's 24 shades wish me luck guys so these are eight pounds each i think it's okay for a drugstore lipstick i just need to try them and see how they are so i'm gonna get this the first colour out. These are all the colours with their lip liners. They all have like this sticker on them closing them and I have to take it all off. <laughs> the extra work guys. This one's being a Debbie Downer and it doesn't want to let me take the sticker off properly. Alright so this is what it looks like. This is the shade Fetish. I think this will be definitely too light for me but it's very like it has this very like powdery matte Feel. I mean they're super pigmented as well but let's just try this one shall we oh my god this is clearly not a colour for me but you can definitely wear this if you pair it with a um, darker lip liner but this is fetish I'm actually quite happy with the way it applied and the pigmentation of it I can slightly see my lips through it, but it is super light for me, to be honest. Like, super, super light. Ooh. Now we have Dainty Days, which looks like this. It's right here. This one's not bad. I can definitely pair this one with a darker lip liner. This is Dainty Days. So the next one we have is Rosé the Day. Not a bad colour. It's right here, this is the third one. The formula is actually really, really nice. I will definitely wear this one with a lip liner. So far this is a favourite. Maybe not on its own though. You guys said that you like to see close-ups of the lips, so I'm trying to do that. My camera doesn't like it when I do close-ups, to be honest. It's definitely a lighting issue. It just makes me look so airy, like it goes all grey, and I'm just like, what the hell are you doing? Now we're getting into the colours that I really like. This one's so stunning. So this one is Free Spirit. This one is a bit more like pinky than I thought, but it's a really pretty colour. Again, formula is just so stunning. There's no point of pressing your lips together with this formula because it doesn't really like it when you do that. So you, you might as well just apply it on your top and bottom lip. The next one is called Brunch Me. It's very similar to Free Spirit, but it's a bit like lighter, I would say. More pinkier. It's right there. Okay, so this is Brunch Me. I mean, it's not my favourite. I don't really like these type of pinky lips, to be honest. But if it's up your alley, this is what Brunch Me looks like. I feel like it gives me, like, a beard. Mm, my lips are suffering. By the way, I'm wearing the NYX Can't Stop On Itself Foundation. And it's just so beautiful. We're finally getting onto dark shades now. Right, so the next one is Lolita. Damn. That is Lolita right there. I'm 
Right, so this is Lolita. It's like a plummy... I don't even know how to... It's like a plummy brick. That's how I would call this colour. Um, I don't know, it's a nice colour. I think my sister would really like this. She loves like reddish colours and I feel like this is up her alley. Um, and I think I would wear it because it's not overly white white it's not overly bright so i don't know i feel like i could rock this color the next color we have is called cold brew straight up brown that's cold brew right there oh my god it's like a straight up chocolate right the application is probably not the best but This is cold brew. If you like a deep brown, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Definitely a thumbs up for this one. Right, so the next one we have is Peach Don't Kill My Vibe. And I feel like this will be one of my favourites, but I think with a lip liner. So yeah, this is what Peach Don't Kill My Vibe looks like. But it's very bright. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. It's much brighter than I thought it would. But I'm going to try it at the end of the video with a lip liner. It's almost fluorescent, I would say. It's very bright. I thought it was going to be a bit more toned down. But yeah, this is what Peach Don't Kill My Vibe looks like. Right, so this next one my sister was literally eyeing is called Spicy. It's spicy right here. It's like a true bright, bluey tone red. Even though like they're really like they feel like a moussey matte, they don't drag on their lips at all. Right, so this is spicy. I do feel like I can see the pigmentation of my lips throughout this one, like especially on the top lip. But it's a very beautiful red. Like this is a nice Christmas red. Right, so the next one is called Girl Bye. Look at that guys, that's Girl Bye. I didn't even take this lipstick off. I feel like I hate taking them off, but I love putting them on. I ain't got time, because I'm wearing girl bar. Okay, I know I'm a weirdo, but anyways, I love this colour. I think this is one of my favourites as well. This is a big thumbs up. This next colour is called Sweet Tooth, and it's definitely a colour my mum would love. This is so her colour, and it's this one right here. I feel like this is such a perfect name for this colour, it's so stunning, oh my god, oh my god oh guys, oh my god I could wear this out, like it's not too bright, like this is a stunning colour right, so next we have Klinger this Klinger mm I mean it's not for me but it's beautiful still and it's so pigmented so comfortable here's a close-up okay like this next color it's called electro shock it's it looks really bright and that's what it looks like oh my This one's more creamy. It definitely feels softer than the others. I don't even care about the application. This is Electroshock. The beard is real. I don't want to keep this any longer. <laughs> right, so this next one is called Lavender and Lace. It's like a very grey lilac. I really do like it, but sometimes I do feel like I look like I've smoked a pack of cigarettes when I wear colours like this. Um, yeah, but this is what lavender and lace looks like. It's a violet smoke. Very pale colour. 
Oh my god, I've realised the paler colours, like the pastel -y ones, are very creamy. Because like, you know you're going to get pigment, they're comfortable. Most of the times when I've tried other pastel -y lipsticks, they're very chalky and very patchy. Yes, this next one is called Cyberpop. Cyberpop. That's Cyberpop right there. It's actually not bad. I think my mum would like this colour though. Hmm. Hmm. I'm quite surprised at this one. It's a very bright purple. But it's still, it's kind of wearable. But I don't know. I wouldn't wear this. It's not, it's too much for a Nushka guy. The next one we have is, shut the f*** up. Mama, my mum language. But yeah. STFU. Right there. Oh no, this one's a hot. This one's for my mum. Not the neatest application, but this one's more of a wearable purple. Like out of all of them, this one is more wearable if you like a purple lip. Okay, now we're getting into the funny colours. My thing is literally pink. Okay, right now we have a very dark colour. This is called Doom. That's Doom. That is definitely a doom colour. Right, this one is very dark. This is what doom looks like. It, I felt like I have to go over my lips quite a few times to get this pigment. Like, it's not as pigmented as the others, but once you do layer, it's, you know, it's there. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. I felt like this one, I, need to, I needed to put it on a few times to get it to look like this, you know? Alright, next one is Moonwalk. It looks like a very grey colour. Almost grey to be honest, but a little bit of purple. I think these are good if you're like an artist and you want to create creative looks. Or if you just like to wear colours like this, there's nothing wrong with that. Definitely giving me grey vibes. This one is definitely grey. It's grey. Right, next one looks like a muddy colour. I'm going to be real with you guys. It's called Munchies. This is Munchies. It's not that bad actually, to be honest, but it's definitely a grey colour. I mean, these are not for me, guys. I think you know, you know that, but... There's, I know there's some people out there that really do like these colours and rock these colours. Like when I was working on makeup counters, you'd be surprised how many people I see wear these colours and, you know, are so confident in it, in, it, in it and like, you know, rock it. But for me, I need to be, I need to feel good in a lip colour. So this is not just not for me. Right, next one is Smudge Me. The dark grey, basically. Right there. This is much me ignore the application. I think at this point I'm just tired and I've got three left and I wanna, you know, my lips are just like, relax. <laughs> I feel like you can't say these aren't pigmented, like they're so pigmented, um, and yeah. This is more of like a dark gray for sure. And I think NYX are known for having, you know, their extra, you know, their really creative colors and I think that's nice and I think it's good to have a brand that provides that, you know. Next one is Ace, which looks like a blue almost. That's Ace right there. Right, so this is Ace and it's kind of pretty. I like Ace. Would I wear it? Probably not. Maybe if I'm having like an extra day where I'm like, you know, F it, I'm gonna wear a blue lip today. I might wear it because it's kind of like a wearable blue it's like a wearable out of the zone color if i'm making sense right now it's up close so this one is x's tears this is like a straight up blue i know a lot of people like this color though like it's a straight up dark navy blue 
This one feels a little bit drier. It's not bad, I think it's quite pretty. It almost looks like a black, but it's a navy, you know? So the final one, we have like a green, and this is Shake That Money. It's like a straight up green. Which is right there, guys. Again, not the best application. Definitely would recommend a lip liner when using these colours. This is Shake That Money. And I know a lot of people like this colour because it's wearable, it's nice and it's just like a green lip. My lips are dead. I really do like NYX liners but I haven't tried the suede matte lip liner. So I'm going to use the uh, Cold Brew which is like that deep chocolate colour. I'm going to use that in the, as a liner. Oh. The lip liner is very dragging. I want to try it with peach. Peach, don't kill my vibe. With a brown lip liner, that is beautiful. I think this is my favourite combo. Yes, that's so me. So my overall thoughts on these are that the formula is amazing, 10 out of 10. The pigmentation is amazing, 10 out of 10. The colour range is amazing. I mean, they've got a good choice of colour, 10 out of 10. I think they could have done with more browns, like maybe a light nudie brown because that's my type of colour but to be honest with cold brew lip liner and this peach don't kill my vibe this is my favourite combo it's so like peachy but still wearable with a bit of brown on the edges I think this is my combo this is going in my makeup bag and I also do like uh, rosé the day it's more like a nude so these two are my favourites and they're going in my makeup bag with cold brew lip liner. Now with the lip liners, like cold brew is nice but it was super dragging. I don't know if it's because my lips are so like sore right now. But it was, I had to drag quite a bit whilst their normal lip liners are really nice and creamy. So yeah, just bear that in mind. I really like uh, the red, the spicy. Um, there was another one I really liked. Girl by was nice. But yeah guys, so those are all the lip swatches. I hope you enjoyed this video. They're eight pounds, I think they're a bargain. And yeah, they've got a really good formula, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one was your favorite color? Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.